Your Honor, we vehemently object to that application. Your Honor, briefly, very, very briefly, today before you is the entry of the first abuse of the criminal justice system under the current regime. It's unfortunate it will be the first one to deal with this issue. Your Honor, the authority Shadrach has given, that is the authority of Oscar Sudi, is an authority where people, where Oscar, who was seen as an opposition to the state, was hounded the way the MCA has been hounded. And an avalanche of such are coming. This is the first one. And we call upon the judiciary to be firm. Your Honor, two, this is about an utterance against the head of state. The respondent cannot contain the head of state. The head of state can record a statement as and when he wants. Your Honor, you have been told that this will cause a national security issue. This is a mere MCA, Your Honor. A mere MCA. The authority that you have been given, Your Honor, by Justice Professor Ngugi says, Kenya is not a banana country. Where even if those utterances were uttered, the security of this state cannot be at risk by mere statements. The authority speaks about it. Fourth, Your Honor, that authority, and to contextualize this matter, him and everybody in this room and 50 million Kenyans pay taxes to employ more than 200,000 police officers to do their job. If that is the reason why, Your Honor, you have been told to detain him, the police is intact. They will arrest him if he becomes a menace. Fourth, Your Honor, I'll contextualize this matter in the sense that this is the politics that is being brought to the judiciary. And the trend of politics that before this court, before Your Honor, you sat here, I happened to defend five cabinet ministers right now who are charged of civil offenses. Cabinet Secretary Moses Kuria was here over the same allegations. He graduated out of this dock to be a CS. <laughs> cabinet Secretary Aisha Juma was here, the Pangani Six. She graduated to be there. And the many more. Your Honor, you are being used on the question of politics. The state will definitely charge you. And either after 2022 or 2027, they will again withdraw. I wish the court to, uh, to take judicial notice. All the people who are charged like him, their charges have been withdrawn. And the affidavits sworn by the police have been recanted by the same police. 
that they were forced to swear those affidavits. And they have been elevated to cabinet positions. You want to ask the court to resist the invitation to be used by politics, politicians for this political agenda. The MCA is being called a flight risk. A member of parliament, a member of the county assembly, you're elected by more than 30,000 voters. The father of this city is being called a flight risk. A terminology I've said is consistent with the DCI. Yona, this is a honorable member of parliament. Counter said. This is a respectable family person. It is only that he's in a, in a different political formation. Yona, the regime that brings our clans to you <coughs> took office with the promise that they will not use the police for politics. Two weeks, the first casualties here. We urge this court to be independent and fair and let it not be the entry for a floodgate of such politically instigated arrests. And now finally, before my senior concludes on that matter, the Constitution lays a serious requirement and authorities that are next chance evidence of compelling reasons be presented to you. The state has not laid even one annexure. Senior Bell will deal with that one. There is no any evidence that he was found at the airport or in Chebukupe escaping to Uganda. <clears throat> if I borrow the words of uh, the Chief Justice, this is hotel. <laughs> Limiting the liberty of a person on just an affidavit without an exchange, without supporting authority, uh, documents, it does not work in a democratic country that we are living in. The basis of seven days is not accounted for. <clears throat> you know, the only thing that they will achieve is that probably he'll be the next governor or a CS in the next regime. Mm -hmm. Must he be dragged for him to be elevated through a criminal justice system? that is not based on any facts. Donna, we urge you, revi you revisit that and grant the respondent conditional release in terms of bail or bond. Have we seen people with immense power released? Yes. And when you retire, the governor, former governor, of uh, Migori, Obado, was released on cash. The former governor of, of, uh, of Kiambu, Baba Waititu, who I represented on this dock, was released on bail. There is no compelling reason. There is no compelling reason. Lastly, Your Honor, 
I'm on record. I'm defending very many police officers, very many thousands of police officers who followed blind orders the way they are following now. They will again also be held to account when they take power. Let us not use courts to settle politics. And may I allow my senior Nyaberi to deal with one constitutional issue, then the court will make its pronouncement. is an invitation for the Honorable Court to limit the respondent's right under Article 29. In itself, Your Honor, it's not a novel application. It's not unique in any manner. We've been down that road before. And there is a preponderance of authorities on how the court should deal with cases such as the one we find ourselves with this morning. Your Honor, I will invite the Honorable Court first to take a read at the Michael Rotich decision versus the Republic of the Year 2016 EKLR decided by my Lord Justice Luca Kimaru now elevated to the Court of Appeal. And, Your Honor, the substance of that decision is that the court, the applicant has a duty to the court to present a holding charge in an application such as the one that we have before the court. Mm -hmm. Your Honor, we have been served with the application. We do not have a holding charge to suggest why in the first place the respondent continues to be detained. Secondly, Your Honor, in the application that I have also shared with the court, in the case of Sudi Oscar Kichumba versus the Republic, suing through the National Cohesion Integration Commission, the year 2020 can be found in the EKLR. My Lord, Professor Joel Ngugi, also had the opportunity of leading us or guiding us on what we should be doing. And my Lord, Your Honor, if you turn to the authority that I have shared, particularly, Your Honor, on paragraph 24, paragraph 24, page 5 of 8, the court noted a two-tire approach. Two guiding principles that the court should look at in an application such as the one that we have before the court. Your Honor, must be persuaded from where you sit that the application is actually being made in good faith. So that it is important for the court to consider the supporting affidavit being made by the arresting officer in this case. Your Honor, when an investigating officer has already formed the opinion that the respondent is a perpetual habitual offender, that in itself does not tell of the good faith that they have made the application before court. It is telling of investigations that are already preconceived and a conclusion that is already predetermined. 
So even for that ground alone, the application before court does not stand or cannot stand, and I invite the Honorable Court to dismiss it. On the last ground, Your Honor, cognizant that the court has a lot to do today, when the court is approached with an application such as this, the court must return back to Article 24 of the Constitution on the limitation of rights, because essentially that is what they are inviting you to do, to limit his right. Is that, Your Honor, must ask yourself, are there less restrictive measures available for the court to provide so that we balance the scales of justice? So that his rights, the respondent's right, to be presumed innocent and to be granted bail under Article 49 are protected, Your Honor. Your Honor, I suggest to the Honorable Court, respectfully, Your Honor, I apologize for the interruption. Your Honor, when it comes to an, issues of, an issue of the respondent submitting his telephone or his mobile phone, Your Honor, he can do so under the instructions of the court if that is the only ground upon which they should continue detaining him. Father, Your Honor, it will be a travesty to justice if we are to detain the respondent only on the ground that there are other people who it is alleged they are working with who have not been arrested. The state has its responsibility. This court, and I mentioned the Waluke case, Your Honor, in particular, noted even the status of the accused, the convict then. This one is just but a suspect. He holds a very high office in the leadership of this country as a member of county assembly. It is unfathomable, Your Honor, that he will run from the wheels of justice, Your Honor. I thank the court. I invite the court with humility, Your Honor, to disregard, dismiss, and disallow the application. And Your Honor, with your permission, I yield the floor to my seniors, Mr. Dunstan and Mr. Mugheri. Thank you. Counsel visited Central Police Station, and he was told he was not there until I made a move to Kiambu Police Station. So let it be on pen and paper. We are not comfortable in Central Police Station, nor Kiambu Police Station. It does not prejudice anybody. All of them are police stations, as it is. They are stationed and proximity to court. Thank you.